See, I'm just here to talk. I'm just here to speak my mind. I'm not here to preach, and I'm not here to tell anybody you have to listen to me. See, there was this girl, and her story is similar to mine because my life hasn't been perfect. But since I met Jesus, it feels almost perfect. And to him, I gave the glory. She was dating this guy. Things didn't work out. Two months down the road, she's feeling sick. She's throwing up and she's feeling like, oh no, this can't be happening. I hope this is not happening. She calls up a friend. She's hysterical. She's worried. She's panicking because she doesn't want to be pregnant. But that's what the case is. She tells this friend, I just hope this is not what it is. I just hope this is not what I think it is because me and him, we're not together. Who's going to help me to take care of this child? As I listened to the story, I said, see, that's why we women, we need to think twice about enjoying the company of a man, about, enjoy, about enjoying giving our body to a man. Because at the end of the day, we are the one who will bring a child into this world. And whether the man stays in our life or not, we will be responsible to nurture that child. And we, if we are not in the right state of mind, we have brought a child into this world to disappoint that child, to let that child down, to destroy that child's life. But see, the problem is not with the brothers. The problem is with us women. We don't know how much power we have. We don't know our capabilities. We don't know how much strength we have in making our generation right. We give the brothers way too much power, way too early. They literally get away with murder. We want to throw our pennies at them. We want to satisfy their lustful desires. We want to satisfy their, their, their desires to grab our beautiful buttocks and play with our very beautiful bosom and touch our bodies without upholding them to higher standards without requiring them to make a manly decision, to take a bold step and pop the question and agree and take a vow to establish a home before bringing a child into this world to establish a family. She's crying. She's crying. Because this man is not going to be there. But who is to blame? She has to blame herself. I have to blame myself. You have to blame yourself. Because my sister, if you wasn't going to spread your legs and let that man take the cookie without choosing you and committing himself into a marriage with you and making a promise to God that he's going to love you through thick and thin, for better or worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, then you have yourself to blame. We fight each other. We fight for him. We go to work. We work our butt off. We put all the money on the table for him. Well, hell, some of us don't even take care of our own kids. we rather take care of the man. Who's even sleeping with another sister? And is not even giving his all to you yet. But some of you rather even put him over your children. You see? We give up all our power. We give up all our capabilities. We give up all our values. 
we set ourselves up to be treated like trash and then we bring our precious little babies into this world while we are being treated like trash because we don't want to hold back and challenge the brothers to make a better decision and challenge the brother to step up to take their vow before bringing the child into this world we're too reluctant we're too reluctant to even love ourselves. So how are they going to love us? Let alone the child that some of us force on them. They're not even ready to make her or her or you or me their wives. <laughs> They're only ready to lay with you. When you tell some of them you're pregnant, they take off. You're deserted. They tell you, hell no. I don't think that's mine. Yeah, I ain't the only man you've been sleeping with. They bring up all these humiliating arguments against you. But remember the first day they met you? Yeah, remember that first day? When they couldn't keep their hands off you? When they told you all the sweetest things? When they had all the best lines? They just wanted to get what they wanted to get. So we as women, we need to step our game up. We need to value ourselves more. We need to value our future children more. A lot of women, when we have our babies, we care so much about our children. But then we have to go through so much hardship with our kids because of the decisions we make. But that can change. That can change. You don't owe no man your body unless he takes that step and choose you and walk down the aisle with you and take that vow to make you his queen and cherish you so that he takes full responsibility and accountability of any child that you bring into this world. That's all I wanted to say. You can take it or leave it. But words to the wise is quite sufficient.